we're back. And hopefully you don't hear the sound of the uh, train going by, which... Yeah, oh, shit, it's early. It's the uh, 1 o'clock is a little uh, early. Yeah, like 15 minutes early. But your dad would find that fascinating. <laughs> yeah. No, he wouldn't. Yeah, uh, Mel's dad is retired from uh, the Canadian Railway. The Canadian, Railway, yeah, uh, in the CNR. System. Okay, roll is done this level. Jeez, and he and Godzilla ah. just went backwards. Or was that Mega Godzilla? No, that was Godzilla. Okay. I, I, he just I, did I, the moonwalk. I, 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 killed him, I killed him last episode. Yes, get up here. Mega Godzilla just these. did the moonwalk. Yeah. Oh, I just realized too. Um. Uh, Ultimate Warriors getting a spot on here. Uh, I haven't. It'll probably be tweeted out by the time this episode comes out. Uh -huh. But uh, I went um, uh, okay. thrift shopping, and in a baggie of toys for three bucks, uh, found not only mm. uh, original Black Ranger Mighty Morphin Power Ranger figure, which uh, I will be donating to one of my friends since I yeah. already own one. The reason I bought the bag is because I wanted the Ultimate Warrior toy that was in it. This was like old school, like no posability. You squeeze, you squeeze him down, he pops up and flies out. I wanted to get that out right away because I knew, because like, since the passing of Warrior, there's going to be like people that are trying to sell his shit online and jack up the price, which he ain't too happy about. When he was alive, he didn't appreciate fans that would uh, take his autograph and then just like sell the shit online. He wasn't too yeah. appreciative of that. He was appreciative of the people that you know took his autograph for what it was and just you know something personal to them, and it was going to uh, stay in their home. Exactly. And get that there. Yeah. And there's, like, a couple other... Like, this is the thing with, like, buying those, like, toys. Like, mm. like the thing is, like, if there's, like, a turtle figure, then they'll just put it in a singular bag and sell it for, like, a r ridiculous price. If they got, like, a hodgepodge of shit they don't know about, it's like, oh, I don't know what this is. It's like, ah, uh, just put it, put it together. So uh, I end up getting... What are you trying to hit? Oh. I thought that thing opened up. No, it wasn't Johnny. And here I am swatting out like an idiot. <laughs> uh, oh, but yeah, I don't know who's—I don't know which one of my friends is gonna get the Black Ranger, or I guess whoever they wants it. They might have to. Well, they might have to rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock. Oh god, that was from like three seasons ago. I doubt anyone remembers like the whole stick. Mm, yeah. What do you think about that with Big Bang Theory? Is like they like to bring up stuff that actually uh, happened on like an episode, and like some people remember it, some people don't. That's the funny thing with uh, how I, or not, um, I almost said How I Met Your Mother, but uh, Big Bang Theory, Neptune. At least they can <laughs> stay consistent. Yeah. Who are you? Uh, I am Neptune, guy of the sea. I conjure up storms and sink ships. No, you're not. I am. You know nothing of my work. Sorry, I had to get that Family Guy quote in there. But uh, here's the funny thing with uh, Big Bang Theory: with like all these shows going to Netflix, mm -hmm. Big Bang is the only one that hasn't uh, gone on to Netflix. It's just I think because it's so popular in syndication, and the fact that it's like one of the main shows people buy on DVD still. Like I don't hear a lot of people like, "Oh, gotta go get season." 2.5 of uh, Breaking Bad and it's like, eh, it's just on Netflix. I'll just watch it all there. Yeah. I mean, the hardcore of the hardcore will buy it for, like, you know, special features and shit like that. Well, but, like, yeah, obviously. My, uh, thumb joint's starting to seize up a little bit. I'll massage your hands later. Honey. Yeah, right, well. <laughs> <laughs> I got the best wife in the world. Aw, honey. Yeah, yeah, can you admit well, hey. you'd be a better wife if you uh, let me buy an X-Bone. <laughs> can make those x -bones. You're not going to let this go, are you? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that's the big well, news that happened today. Yeah, uh, yeah. We're totally dating ourselves. But yeah, uh, Microsoft announced uh, a Kinectless uh, Xbox One, lowering the price by $100. So, About freaking time. Yeah. Maybe I'll have all those uh, uh, DRM updates on there day one so you don't have to do like a massive upload. When you get the thing, but one of the it's hard to be sure, Johnny. We it's won't one of the know other until things we get too. One. The other things too is that uh, things like Netflix yeah. will no longer require Xbox Live Gold membership. So they, really? like that—that that was kind of the piss off. It's just like, hey, guess what? I gotta pay sixty dollars a year for membership for Gold, 
mm-hmm. and then on top of that, I gotta pay another uh, eight ninety nine or whatever the Netflix. Dang. Yeah, so that's kind of a pisser. But hey, um, because like the thing with the PS three, PS four, mm-hmm. Wii, and Wii U, that shit's free. That freaking time. Well, I mean, like you still gotta pay the subscription, but like yeah. you don't have to pay like a subscription to Nintendo to use their online services just to use Netflix. Exactly. I wonder how Netflix is on the 3DS, because I heard they got, like, 3D titles on there. Really? I think. Well, I'll have to research that, yeah. honey. Well, that's one of the things, like, we're really wanting to get a 3DS because Smash Brothers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that. Fucking Gazora goes after Mothra and is just like, meh, I'm not gonna fight you. Alright, frame lock. Ah. Yeah, that's the thing too. Pat's, Pat, uh, I was watching uh, their Let's Play of this. Pat's mm-hmm. just like, "What the fuck's going on? Why isn't Magra moving? Look at that animation!" It's like, "Oh no, I got him in like a stun lock." It's like, "No, it's after you hit him with uh, the atomic breath." It's just like, ah, "I don't feel it moving." Uh, just kick my ass. It's fine. I'm okay. Take a look. There we go. Oh yeah, level up again. I think Yay, I've maxed level out. Up. Oh, now Gazora wants a piece of me. Let's do this. <laughs> Gazora has got balls. Godzilla versus Gazora. Let's do this. Let's go. Oh, it's not let's do this. It's like, let's go. <laughs> yeah. You guys are probably already subscribed to him. But if you're not, go subscribe to Maximilian. Like, such an entertaining uh, caster on Twitch. Uh, does entertaining videos on YouTube about fighting games. Like, I never got into him at first, but then I watched his boss rage on uh, Shadow Jago from uh, Killer Instinct, and I was just like, um, this Johnny, guy's you're doing it again. I'm doing it again. <laughs> yeah, I'm punching you're, nothing. You're punching the air! Yeah. Like, I just, like, as soon as I watched it, I was like, man, this guy's pretty entertaining. And, like, <laughs> he car- like he, he's entertaining his fans, and, like, uh, the other night we were playing uh, Third Strike Online with a bunch of ScrewTag G1s. Yeah, I remember and you doing And afterwards, that. Um, Chad and uh, Nick from ScrewTag were playing, and I managed to get at least one round in on Chad on his Oro, because if you guys know Chad and his Oro, he's just fucking wreck your shit. Then uh, they found out that Maximilian was the streaming uh, Third Strike over on his channel, because it was the 15th anniversary of Third Strike, uh, the original one. So, they went uh, and tried to challenge him in lobbies. And man, like, Chad ended up, uh, he lost the Maximilian, but he got one round in on him and his Oro combo. And it was pretty sick. Uh, I couldn't see Nyx on there, but that's actually on Advantage. If you guys are Advantage members of uh, ScrewTag.com, you can watch their um, reaction to the uh, match. And I just killed Gazora with no problems. Nice. I'm just kicking him in the face. For good measure. Come on, Vera. Oh, you gotta fight. Nobody wants anything of Mothra, I guess. <laughs> That's fine. Mothra, Mothra's low, low Not tier. worth it. Not <laughs> worth it. Banned from Evo. But yeah, I was watching... You're punching the no, air. No, no, no. See, it opened. It opened. I ain't punching nothing. See that? I got it. Let's do this. Got did a kick. Got did a kick. Uh, okay, now I'm punching. Some do and some don't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's another thing I'm gonna get on my import. Uh, mm-hmm. I saw Mars Girl playing this on her live stream. Yeah. Uh, on an emulator, nonetheless. But I'm gonna get the Famicom, uh, Sufami uh, uh, card of it. There's a Common Rider beat 'em up game. Sweet. Yeah, you can play as version one and version two. It's pretty sweet because like, you can play as uh, you can fight as the human form first, and then like uh, henshin later. Nice. It's sort of like Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie, the game featuring uh, Ivan Ooze trademark. Because you can you, you you pick your human characters right, mm-hmm. and then you fight as humans. But instead of like Mighty Morphin, where as soon as the monster appears, it's Morphin time. No, you got to collect uh, lightning bolts to charge up your morph meter. And then mm-hmm. as soon as that happens, then you hit the X button, and then you morph. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. Only problem with that game, though, is, like, once you die, that's it. Game over. 
Like, you got no continues. Damn! Yeah, I think I, I've only beaten it once in my life. Legit. On the cartridge. Hmm. What really sucked, though, was that there's no Zord fight. After you beat Ivan Ooze, the Ninja Megazord comes through and, uh, uh, picks you up and, uh, takes you out of his palace. Shit! Yeah. That's kind of the bummer to that. That's the yeah, funny thing that about the third be. season of that. Is that, um... Oh, God. Everything pushed in. Uh, the third thief... Uh, oh, God. Thief him. Your tongue tied. The third, third thief in a Mighty Morphin Power Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, here, here's the thing. Um, third season of uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Um, they retired the Die Ranger uh, footage and start using uh, the next series, which is Cocker Ranger, which mm. was all ninjas. Uh, what ended up happening was that for the movie, Saban used the Ninja Megazord, which is actually the Zord that they use at the end of the Sentai. They used the Shogun Zords at the beginning, because like they were all personalized and they could meld into it. Mm -hmm. So it was pretty crazy. It's like you do the absolute re reversal. You show like the ending uh, Zord first, and then go back to the beginning Zord. Huh. Pretty crazy. Yeah, but it is pretty There's crazy. There's another import that I want for Famicom, and it's a, it's a Zoo Ranger uh, game, so Mighty Morphin. It's a side-scroller, and it's pretty pretty interesting. So mm. this is not Planet of that X, is it? No, we're still on Neptune. Oh my god. We're almost at Planet X. Don't worry. Oh, I'm getting tired. I'm trying to... No, we will do this. My we will bad. do this. Let's go! Come on! Get hype, Melanie! Get hype! How? Psych yourself up! You gonna get psyched? You gonna get psyched up? Get psyched! Let's go! Cask is psyched, sweetie! Get psyched! Get pumped! Ah. Look at this! Baragon! Baragon! Baragon got shit! Oh, he's trying to lift him on nuts! Doesn't matter! Um, right, Godzilla just... doesn't have nuts. Er... Does he? You know, it. he's got a big boot in your face. That's right. This is hype. Godzilla NES for Evo 2014. Go vote for it. Fuck, fuck Smash Brothers Melee. We need Godzilla top tier fighting games. Yeah. I always thought Bowser was a cheap imitation of Godzilla. But fatter. Well, I think the, the original design for uh, Bowser... Yeah. Was they wanted, uh, I can't remember what they originally wanted, but they couldn't, uh, imagine the sprite, so they just made, um, a bigger version of a, of a Koopa with spikes on him. Uh-huh. I'm trying to find out where that was. I don't, I don't think it was in a Did You Know Gaming. It was, it was somewhere. I thought it was Did You Know Gaming. There was a video related, or was it Eagle Raptor? Uh, I can't remember. Because I do remember you showing me a video about that. Yeah. Ages ago. You know, the new the newest one is Skyrim with a uh, Boogie 2988. Mm. I'm surprised you didn't talk about any of the mods. Because, like, ladies and gentlemen, that'll be the only way I will ever play Skyrim is on PC and with the Macho Man Dragon mod. <laughs> that's like that's the best mod ever. It's just like yeah. <laughs> Instead of like screaming, he just goes yeah. <laughs> So wild, yeah! Damn it, it was Slim Jim! Cream of the crop, rice to the top. <laughs> I'm here with a cup of coffee, yeah, because that's what Ricky the Dragon Steamboat is, is a cup of coffee, yeah. Making like... Godzilla here for his cup of coffee, yeah. Well, I'm gonna punch him in the face! I'll tell- there I'm are the macho some Godzilla! I've had a hard- Yeah, I, <laughs> speaking of RPGs, there are some RPGs I have a hard time- playing, but I love the story. Uh, one of them is uh, Neverwinter Nights. I never... I couldn't finish... I couldn't ever finish it. Because I was always stuck with the two bosses that had the same abilities and I couldn't beat them, no matter what. And it's like the same right now in, well, Dragon Age. I can't get past the same freaking boss. Yeah, that's a game area. kind of... Uh... Stop I mean, playing there. Yeah, because I was so frustrated I couldn't beat them. Oh, I was going to say next time on Couples Play, but uh, Gigan wants a piece. Trust me, you don't want none of this. 
Get out of here. Okay, uh, well... <laughs> uh, you can do it. I know I can do it. Ooh, his boot's more powerful. Watch that. Look at that. Look at what I'm taking away from him. Nope. Charge up. Ah, nope. Back off, back him. off, back yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. There it. you go. Get it. Oh, T-Bag, It's tea weird bag. that he gets, only has, like, these strange, like, one claw uh, for its hand. Next time a couple's play, we get the hell out of Neptune and go to Planet X.